hello guys welcome to my youtube channel so today a new thing i'm going to show my face um that's the new thing i'm trying yeah uh, now yeah today in this video i'm going to show you the correct way to add a query string for any url into the wordpress so let's jump into the code here i am I have opened my WordPress login, um, WordPress local site. And this is my editor. And let's go to our custom plugin. So if you are new to our channel and you don't know uh, how to create WordPress plugin, then the link is coming into the I button um so let's go to this file custom action filters and let me add an action so i am going to show you this in init action uh, just to demonstrate but you can use this anywhere as per your requirement And now so let's say I want to add a query string into the home page URL so first I will assign a URL into a parameter so this is the function which uh, returns site URL so let me echo this URL and refresh it so as you can see over here uh, it is displaying the URL now uh, if you want to add a query string to the to this URL so So there is a function called WP. Uh, WP arcs arcs. Uh, sorry, no, not this one. Add query. Add query arcs. So this is the function in which you can pass your query parameter like this if you if you want to add a single query parameter then add yes this is the query parameter and this is the parameter value one and here we will pass url so what this function does this function will add this query parameter to this URL so let me echo this refresh and as you can see I uh, this query parameter is coming now so this is the correct way to add query parameters into the WordPress and now what if you want to pass multiple query parameters so in that case you need to pass array of key value so key will be the query string and value will be the uh, value of query string so test one a b c So now this will add multiple query strings to the URL. So let me refresh this. So 
So as you can see, now there are multiple query strings into the URL. So this is a very simple function and way to add query parameters into the URLs. And this is the correct way to do into the WordPress. So please, uh, if you have any doubt or question, uh, write down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching the video.